So here we go. What's wrong with this system, right? This is a condensing outdoor unit, split system. And we are running in cooling right now. Liquid line sensor clamp hooked up. You see my liquid line temperature right here. 69 degrees. Uh, suction line temperature clamp hooked up. And you can see my suction line temperature, 65 degrees. Refrigerant is R22, as you may know, because you see the green. And um, suction pressure, discharge pressure, and you know, so on and so forth. It's all right there. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna add in some gas to this. Let's see what happens. Open. Open here. Up. A little bit. See what happens. Just adding some gas. And just that's. I opened it literally for about 15 seconds. So that wasn't much at all. See what's going on with the numbers. You see everything levels out. I could tell you already it's looking good. Are looking better not sure what good yet looking better you know you are you want to know how you know your uh hvac troubleshooting boss when you're setting up a rig like this to a refrigerant <laughs> at a refrigerant and you're not even using a scale right that you just like just know that this is the deal and that's all you need to do you're just doing it. i'm just kidding but you know after a while something sticks right i mean you're doing it for a while guys you know what i mean so yeah like i said about 15 seconds i opened it and uh yeah look at the results i mean i'm seeing better sub cooling uh oh man this thing is my back pressure came up a great amount um yeah it's looking better so i'm gonna give it another wait a, wait a few more minutes let it balance out a little bit and i'm gonna just give it another squeeze man see what's gonna happen here i'm thinking I'm on the right track with just plant alone refrigerant and this condenser has in there it has a uh it's a cool air condenser if you know these condensers um they it's a commercial style and they have headmasters all right they're for low ambient control and this is currently feeding uh, elevator room machine room so the cooling it's new york city and it's cold out here but we need cooling still yeah baby so you saw what it was before see what's going on right now i, I would say I, I would say that i'm good i don't I, oh crap look at that I, I probably don't need to go any further i mean what do you guys think two minutes three almost three minutes into the video i think wait tell them what you think you think we need to go further because these numbers are looking pretty good it's getting good baby yeah i mean i think uh i think i'm straight i think i'm straight man i think even the phone agrees it locks off the screen went away yeah i think i'm straight i don't need to add anymore yeah what do you think about this, this setup right here right i got my my hose right here my, my charging hose i'm hose on the tank i go into the high side the high side is currently closed so the tank is closed off and this is currently open so my low side pressure comes up to my gauge and i could get it with my sensor the sensor you're reading over here and obviously i got my high side sensor right on my liquid line and here's my clamps all right, this tool right here is, is awesome. But it's very expensive. Look at that. Yeah, I would say that I'm good. That that one little squeeze right there was about 15 seconds. I had it open fully for 15 seconds. Just open it and let it push in some liquid. That was it, dude. That was it. Look at this. This, this is looking really good. 14 degrees super heat, 15 degrees super heat, 12 degrees sub, 48 degrees suction pipe. Whoa, this thing is blowing cold. Let me go inside. Let's go inside. Let's take a walk inside to the room and take some temperature readings. You can see outside, 49 degrees. Right, it's cold out here. So this is the indoor unit. And yeah, 53 degrees supply. Uh, pretty good. And the room temperature, 72. On average, let's see if I can scan the return by the filter. Yeah, 72. Yeah. 
I would say we're good. I think we're good. Comment, comment in the comment section if you think we're good. If you think we're good, comment. Alright. Alright, so we're back on the roof. Um, yeah. I'm going to close it off right here. You know, I might just squeeze in squeeze in a few more ounces just because I'd like to see a uh, a stronger or taller column of liquid. I know my sensor is like right by the condenser, but um you know, I don't care. I still want to see a bit more subcooling. I, you know, I mean, I prefer, I like to see it. I mean, what I was seeing earlier was 12. I would like to see it sitting around that. And I did hear a little bit of hissing down by the uh, indoor unit. So a little bit of vapor in the refrigerator. So let me go ahead and squeeze that open. You can see it's rising up. And yeah, don't bash me because I'm dumping liquids in the compressor. Just just a little bit, man. I ain't up in them crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Ain't nothing crazy. And so I want to see this thing maintain. And you see my back pressure is dropping now. Like it's dropping because the TXV or the metering device is closing down. Because see my suction pipe temperature, it's cold. So this low back pressure is not because we're low on refrigerant. Initially it was, but not now. We are good. We ain't no. We ain't low in the refrigerator anymore. We ain't low anymore. All right. I mean, you see this temperature right here? A suction pipe. I mean, we, we ain't low anymore. We ain't low anymore. You see this right here? We have some cooling, baby. We ain't low anymore. All right. So this 57 psi or 55, even if it's 55 psi, bro, we ain't low anymore. We're good. We're good, baby. The room is cool right now. The right, room is probably about 70 now, so the load is dropping like significantly down there. And I'm gonna close this video off. I'm gonna close this video off. Yo, this is gold, by the way, yo. I gotta be like watching my six on the roof with this because, yo, this is bread. It's like full tank, it's like $1,500. $1,500, okay? $1,005, all right? Yeah, this is, this is bread.